Human history has many examples of injustice. In the time of legalised slavery, an entire class of human beings was denied fundamental human rights because it was arbitrarily deemed that they were different from the rest of us. Academics, politicians and others tried to justify this grave injustice by claiming that people of African heritage were somehow not like you and I, that they were less evolved and not fully persons. Then during the time of Nazi Germany, another entire class of persons was subjected to horrific atrocities and brutalities. German academics and leaders also tried to justify their grave violations of human rights and their acts of murder by claiming that Jews were not fully persons like the rest of us. Thankfully, we've moved on from such horrific barbarism and systematic human rights abuses. Or have we? Today, another entire class of persons is being denied their fundamental human rights, and almost 50 of them are violently killed every single day in this country alone. They are the most vulnerable, marginalised and voiceless people within our community. And just like before, we try and justify these killings by claiming that these human beings aren't real persons. Therefore, they aren't entitled to the same rights as the rest of us. These claims are logically unsound, scientifically flawed, and totally arbitrary. Yet despite all this, we still keep using them to try and justify the serious violation of human rights that is abortion, purely because it is convenient for us to do so. Last year, abortion killed almost 16,000 unborn human beings in New Zealand. Years from now, when your grandchildren ask you how this grave injustice could have been allowed to go on for so long and what you did to speak out and make a difference, what will you say? <laughs>